Hi, Nathan here from the photography team. Currently in my lounge. Um, ben is the other side of the camera. We are currently in the process of revamping our images on our website. So we thought that we would take some product photography shots of our camera systems. Um, currently our site's full of Fuji files. So we just want to change those to some nice pictures of our Sony equipment. And we thought that would be a good opportunity to show you how, with simple equipment, you can create stunning product photos. Okay, so we've got the um, Sony set up here uh, with the 85mm 1.8 prime on. Set it in manual and we've gone for an F22, so it's nice and big. I'll just let Nathan tap that back on. Um, F22, so we, we're obviously stopping down and not letting a lot of light in at all. Five seconds with an ISO of 100, and that's what we're looking at, is a very simple light tent setup uh, with the Sony in it. And we've gone for a sort of infinity curve with a bit of black. This is a, a just a cheap light tent that we've picked up. Um, and obviously the reason why we need a nice slow shutter um, is so we can do some light painting with the lovely ice light. So we'll turn the light off and we'll show you what it's like. Okay, so here at the camera, using the ice light to illuminate the um, product that we want to take a photo of. Um, and what we'll do is, because we're in manual mode, regardless of what light I'm shining on it now, it's not going to affect the exposure. Um, what I will do is I will use a centre focus point which focuses on the camera. I've got a two second timer so that when I do hit the shutter button we've got two sec seconds to let the camera settle and then using the eyesight we're going to paint some light across the product and um, see what we get. Okay, back to the camera. And here's a photograph of the product that we've just got. Zoom in. Lovely and sharp. So what we'll do now is we will get those, we'll get that image onto the computer and show you how we give that a quick edit using Capture One. And just before we do get on the computer, we just wanted to show you another sort of simple scenario using the same um, set up um, using an ice light to paint to light paint. In this scenario, it actually shows you that you don't actually need a light tent as long as you've got something nice to lay your products on. Uh, for this, we're using a piece of um, black cloth. Uh, you can use paper if you've got a nice um, wooden floor, anything like that you can use to create these images. But for the look we're going for, we're looking for that sort of um, low key look, so we're going to use some black. Uh, material here, cameras on the tripod, exactly the same settings. So I'm just going to grab the ice light and we're going to basically capture this shot exactly the same way as we did before. So we'll quickly get this shot and then we'll take you into uh, Capture One where we'll do both, where we'll edit both images. So, as before, with a simple setup, we're going to use the ice light to paint some light onto the camera and two lenses. So using the focus cancel, we can obviously tap onto one of the cameras. That will give us our focus. Uh, and remembering that we have a two second delay, so press the button. And then using the ice light, we'll paint some light onto those cameras. And let's see what we've got. So there's a low key image, um, we'll take that into Capture One along with the other image and we'll show you how to give them a quick edit. So we're back at the computer and we've got two images that we want to show you and give you a quick edit in um, Capture One. So this is the first image that we took which was uh, obviously the Sony camera. Um, Obviously that does appear quite dark, but we have been trying to get the sort of low-key 
look on that. Um, if we, if you find that this pointer goes in totally opposite directions, that's obviously me and Ben fighting over the yeah, mouse. I've got a control here, and Nathan's got control over there. I think what the first thing I'm going to do is just give it a crop. We'll keep the original size. Um, So there's a crop. Just gonna... And using um, obviously the adjustment sliders on the right here, uh, you may find that this is different to your capture one. I've set this up so that my sl my sliders are on the right. Um, you can obviously have them on the left if you wish. So first thing I'm just going to raise. It might be that's worth mentioning as well, because again, if you're new to Capture One, you've made this panel by the looks of it, haven't you? This is your panel. I've added the tools that you yeah. to it. Yeah. So just worth mentioning, if you think, oh, hang on, why can't I get that, and why is that in a different thing? You can make your own panels, but we can go through that in another video. So with this one, just give it a little bit of brightness, a little bit of contrast. There's not really too much we need to do with this one. Yeah, I think that's really nice. I might just give it a tiny bit of exposure. Um, and that's I, that's almost it, isn't it? I'll probably clarity up yeah. maybe. Um, I'll probably use structure. Yeah. There's a few different ways of clarity. You can see above it says method of natural. There's like a punch and things like that. And they're, they're really nice to play around with. And if I was to zoom in on this image... And remember, we're already cropped in one hell of a way as well. So this is structure. You can see what it's doing. And then I will use the clarity. It's a completely different. Complete difference. Where have we focused on this one? Well, it's F22, so most of it should be yeah. pretty good. And like I say, we're, we're zoomed in quite a way, and we've already cropped quite a way. So um, that, that is... I mean, to me, I think that's a lovely image. So I'm going to give it a little bit of structure... And then we can give it some normal sharpening. Um, obviously, we have some patches here. Um, now, obviously, with the beauty of the Capture One, you can do layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a quick another layer. And um, we'll go to the Layer tab. Uh, and we're on Adjustment. And what I'm going to do is grab a brush. And we'll... Increase the size of that brush, and I'm just going to brush around the edges of the image. This may be too much, but doing this quite crudely as well. Aren't we? This is very crudely. And if we go back to our adjustments, and the only thing I want to do is just it's just worth noting that it, you know you're adjusting a layer because of the little brush. So if I just take over like, yep. this little brush here, it just shows you you're adjusting a layer. Um, when you're not um, on uh, a layer and you're on your background, that won't be there. So this tool works on layers. You could little... So I was just going to reduce the brightness of that and add some more contrast. So that's just basically darken up the edges. Yes, you can use a uh, vignette as well, so if you want to. You can see a bit of a halo in effect because we're not um, obviously done this right. Um, the other quick cool tool, um, if I don't go and just take over, is uh, you can invert this. So you can actually invert the mask. So if you wanted to go around this really finely and then you do an edit on here, you can then copy this, duplicate it and invert it and then actually edit the background. And that's the real beauty about Capture One. Because you can work with all these layers, you've got an element of Photoshop built into your workflow and without having to go to a different place so um but obviously we're not going to spend that amount of time no. in this video we've already been told off to for doing too many long videos what i've done though is i've i've actually just added another layer i'm going to right click on that and i'm going to put that as a heel layer uh and then what i'm going to do is on this lens you see there's a piece of dust here everything's quite right clicky in in the capture one so if you want to do like adjustments of your uh size of your brushes just right click and you'll get a lot of them um, a lot of the options turn up then so that's got rid of that spot there i mean we could there's lots of spots that we could get rid of we did try and clean it yeah but that's just a quick overview of that feature as well let's 
zoom out back just to the background layer worth adding as well this was this this image was taken on a the a7 III with the 85 mil 1.8 Uh, to move on to the next picture, which was the second one you saw us shoot, which was the one of the cameras um, laying on the floor. I'll let Ben edit this one. Just trying to zoom out. The other screen. Okay. Uh, again, so I, I, I probably work slightly differently, don't they? I'd normally crop in from the edges, um, to a bit like Lightroom. That's kind of what I got used to doing. But when you've got a really dark image, you can see you don't actually have a frame. So it's one thing we did notice with um, with Capture One compared to, to Lightroom. Um, you can do keystones up here. So if you want to straighten everything up, so if we wanted to put some edges down here, and again, we're not, I'm not going to go crazy with it. Um, I'd set mine up slightly differently to Nathan, so just bear with me. Again, just brighten this up. Well, again, we, we went for the idea of this was quite low key um, and we just want to really highlight all these little bits and bobs um, so brightness uh, bright and, and also brightness I think is what it is we have whites you don't have whites in in capture one I like Lightroom brightness seems to do what it says on a tin uh, which is quite nice a little bit more contrast um, I'm gonna add a bit of clarity I do like the clarity because I think it helps Distinguish the darks and the lights, which is quite nice. Touch of sharpening. Um, this is the Lupe tool, so if you want to just have a quick look, just to see how you're getting on. And if you, if when you're over this, if you actually scroll in your mouse, the Lupe tool will go in and out. Um, you can see that's just zoomed out a little bit. So that's quite a nice feature. Um, yeah, again, I, I don't think I'd be doing much more to that. Uh, it's quite a, a, an easy thing. I think if we're going to spend time on this. I think, like we've already said, we'll, we'll use the layers, cut round all of these, put lots of different layers in here. And again, you could put, bring this into Photoshop and do exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but the Capture One can do it for you. You know, when you start getting used to it all, and it saves you also paying for that um, Adobe subscription if you want to use everything in one place. Um, you could also obviously have a play with the levels if you want to have a play with, um, you know, what are, are the blacks or you want to sort of do that kind of filmy style with a bit of a fade on it that looks nice um bring in the, the sort of mid-tones again uh, probably bring this down and pump the highlights a little bit more i mean you can do you, you can do the same with the levels or or the curve as well or as it's curvy as a lot of you're yeah. used to maybe with with uh lightroom you know you can use the curves to get that similar look so there's different ways of achieving um, a sort of similar image, but that is quick. We have been moaned at before for showing um, too much of this sort of thing on the computer, yeah. but that's just a quick overview of, of, firstly, how you can use very um, cheap equipment. Yes, we used an ice light, and it is uh, quite an expensive yeah. tool. However, you've got Young New. Young New, nice yeah, one. there are other. I think Godox are bringing out one. You could even just use an LED light. Yeah, we I had a head torch that we were trying to yeah. play with, which was more of a spotlight. Um, but we quite like the um, the use of obviously the the long line with the ice light. I had the ice light for years, um, and it's probably worth you know saying that you could the Young News and that I think are pretty good. There's loads of reviews yeah. on there. But, um, yeah, so really simple setup can give you actually quite nice results um, and like I say we're going to use these for our um, header stuff on our website isn't it and um, I, I think just to wrap it up we really like capture one um, we're learning about it more and more and more and we are going to do some more videos as we do learn about it the little tips and tricks we pick up um, but also we do have a lovely discount code uh, which offers discount across Lots of different areas with Capture One on, on upgrades, I believe it's upgrades, um, style packs, buying the actual um, full blown software, uh, and I think Capture One Twelve is out very soon. Um, so just be careful with regards to obviously upgrading now or, or changing now. Um, but sometimes they do honour when you buy it so close to the, the free upgrade. So also be wary of that if you want to jump on board but there's also express versions isn't there so if you want to download an express version of for sony yeah that's free you don't get all the tools 
um, but it certainly gives you the idea of how it starts to render these files. So if you're going for one to one, and you want to know how it's how nice and sharp it's rendering these lovely Sony files. The express version will do exactly. And same. also, um, we did a recent um, community post asking about our followers and what camera systems they used. We still have fifty percent of our followers using the Fuji system. First of all, thank you for still following our channel since we made the switch to Sony. But within in in relation to Capture One, there's also a Fuji version now. Um, you know, in Lightroom with Fuji files, sometimes if you over sharpened them, you'd get that worm effect. Well, get rid of Lightroom, use Capture One, edit your Fuji files in Capture One, and um, you'll notice that it's so much more powerful, and you're not going to have that sort of effect. Um, it just renders the raw files a lot nicer than Lightroom. And there's a colour difference as well. Um, when it brings in a RAWs as a standard, you will actually see a and uh, there's videos on this, a Lightroom's Capture One, the subtlety and the saturation difference between the RAWs as they come in. Uh, again, preference, my preference is, um, is Capture One. Yeah. Um, so, wrap it up. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment. We do try and comment back to as many as we can, even if they are a few days behind. Um, and again, if, you, if there's anything you want us to do or um, you know, go through, then we do take suggestions. Um, again, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm Nathan. And I'm Ben. We're the photography team. See you later. Bye.